just sorting out the kitchen cupboard. It's nowhere near Easter, so I'm hoping it's gonna make me toasty. But I did make some progress. I could really do this well, but she... So you're missing this. Cold. Sandra tomatoes, pine nuts. Oh, I'm gonna put that on some jeans now. People are going to be cute. <laughs> a bar Pilates. Interesting to hear a story. As you know, I love. Good morning and welcome to another vlog. If you're new around here, hello. I'm just sorting out the kitchen cupboards, hence why all this stuff is everywhere. We're just going through all the bits and pieces that are old and need chucking out basically. I'm just making some lunch. It's actually one o'clock and I'm still in my tracksuit that I did the school run in and I haven't really got ready properly. So I'm not gonna show you my face until I get ready. <laughs> but I have been sorting out the Easter decorations which are here and the kids very quickly threw these on yesterday. It's a bit lopsided, isn't it? I mean, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. And my husband said to me, it's nowhere near Easter. I was like, I think it is, isn't it? It's definitely blossom time. I've seen some blossom out there and it's definitely time to get the decorations out. I'm all about decorations for the seasons. So if you like that, follow along. <laughs> I'm also just trying to make a healthy lunch. I've had a few um, very unhealthy days. So I'm back on it. It's Monday. That's my reset day. Uh, I've got a bit of a cold still, not feeling my best. So I've just made some porridge so it's like my breakfast lunch so this has been made with this protein shake from strong nutrients and then i'm gonna add a teaspoon of this on the top i love anything nut based i absolutely love i've got some berries in there i've got banana i've got nuts and seeds and i'm hoping that it's just gonna warm me up i'm very cold i work from home most of the time and so i <laughs> And the heating's not really on, so I'm absolutely freezing. So I'm hoping it's going to make me toasty with a coffee. And I can get on with all the admin stuff that I have got lurking. Last week was half term, so I didn't really manage to get that much done. Whereas this week, it is not half term. And my to-do list is chock-a-block. Good afternoon. I'm finally out. Oh, I've been sat at my desk all day, so my brain is frazzled but I did make some progress I always think I'm not going to make any progress and I've actually made progress today through the list I have got lots of work on at the moment which is great but it's a bit busy and I could really do with some help actually oh, I'm feeling a bit frazzled so I'm just heading out I'm listening to a podcast at the moment I've got quite a few on the go that I'm really enjoying uh, I love podcasts like I'm a massive fan of them I listen when I'm walking I listen when I'm in the car I just think they're great and little ideas come into my head from all the information that I get and I learn so much about all different topics so I think they're fantastic I met a lady the other day and she was like oh, I've never listened to one and I was like what I said, you're missing this it's amazing it's so good so I've got my big glasses on hoping that no one recognizes me and <laughs> I'm gonna go for a big long walk before pick up and beavers and guides and all sorts today tomorrow is quite an interesting day as well so wait to see what I get up to with that one <laughs> Uh. Yeah, it's still really muddy out here. Kind of thought it might have cleared up by now. We're now in what mid February. It is a lot warmer than it has been, but definitely need wellies in this mud. It's pretty, in fact, it's really slippery, but I concentrate. I've gone off track and I'm just going, there's loads of fishermen here. Fishermen, like, fascinate me. Who would just sit all day and fish? I'd be thinking, I've got to get on with stuff, I've got to get on. They're just sitting there, like, in silence. It's really weird. There's loads of them. <laughs> Maybe they just come to get away from their wives or something. It's really bizarre. I couldn't just sit and do what looks like nothing. Good 
Good morning, I've got my coffee. I am off for a really cheeky, indulgent tennis lesson. The first time I think I'm doing this and it's not raining. I've only had about six lessons, I think. Less than that maybe since September because basically it rains and it's freezing and I don't want to go because I don't like exercise. So I'm actually going today. I've got no excuse. It's not cold, it's not sleeting, it's not snowing. It's not raining, so off I go. Wish me luck, I'm rubbish at it, but I hate all sport and I think this makes me do some sort of moving around. So I just wanted to show you my lunch. Oh, so I have got a beetroot, apple kind of salad, sun-dried tomatoes, pine nuts, some artichoke hummus, tiny bit of halloumi cheese because i do love halloumi trees i've just done it in the air fryer so hopefully it's not too unhealthy i haven't sprayed it with anything i've got some spanish grains they are they look really scrummy i've got a small little omelette that i've kind of made there i have a bit of avocado some falafels which are sweet potato and then that is kind of like a fettery dip thing which probably shouldn't have but anyway yeah this is my lunch. I'm trying to eat as much colourful and foods as possible. I've been reading a bit more of my Tim Spector book and we're, he talks a lot about eating colours of the rainbow and trying to get as much variety in. So I think I've managed that with this. So I'm going to fill myself up tonight. I'm off out for an event where I think there will be food involved. So this is actually quite a lot to eat, but I don't want to go hungry. I want to go full so that I am ready to just have a little bit of food while I'm out. Hello, oh, this needs to go higher. Looking slightly orange there, aren't I? Oh, is that better? Yes, I want to show you a new allowance that's arrived. Here it is. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, I've got it on an awful hanger, hold on. Here we go. So, oh, does it need steaming? Oh, mm, I think it does gonna film a reel with it oh gosh it looks very orange the light is that better I'm not sure mm, maybe that I'm not sure anyway we've got this shirt so this I've just taken the label off so I can't even tell what it's called it's quite big that's 12 hmm I'm gonna put that on some jeans now to see what it looks like but I just wanted to show it to you so you can see here we go it's got a, like a lovely chain detail they've got quite a lot of this at the moment everywhere. I've seen quite a bit in phase eight. I think I'm gonna have to get my steamer, aren't I? I'm going to show you this when it's on, but I have got this beautiful shirt, which is a Hobbs shirt. It's brand new in at the moment. I'm gonna wear this tonight actually for this event. So the event I'm going to is at ZZ's in Harrogate. Now I've never been there. I've been to quite a few ZZ's down south. They've been going for years. They must be I don't know, owned by a big company, I'm not sure, because I don't know how they have managed it with all of this to stay open. I've just heard that the body shop is closing loads of its stores, which is so sad. It's like been around for so long. My daughters are going to be really upset. They love it. My money tree's going mad. It's sprouting at the bottom. Need some, if anyone knows anything about money trees, hold on, look, this is the money tree. Can you see? It's Look, it's completely sprouting all up down there. You can just see it kind of going mad. Anyway, so I'm putting this on. I'm going to put on this necklace, which I think is Mimosa. Is it? Um, is it? I've had this for quite a while. It is the kind of Barbie iconic. It, yeah, it's from the Barbie movie, basically. And she wears it in a few scenes, I think but it was very sought after. So I have had it for quite a while now, but I really like it. And every time I wear it, I get quite a few compliments. And what's really nice is when people come up and go, I like your Barbie necklace. I'm like, oh, you know, we know. So that's good. I did, my, sis, my sister, my daughter stole it the other day and I thought, what's that around your neck? She did not ask for that. Anyway, so I'm gonna team it with that, this, and my Love Leggings jeans. So I'm going to put those on for you and I'm not sure what else. I feel like I need a trench. I'm not sure. So I've teamed this with um, this black coat. So this has been really useful. This 
autumn winter it's quite a thin coat it's kind of like a jersey fabric as well so it's not like a wool coat so it's really nice to wear and it's got a really flattering shape if you notice at the back it kind of kicks out so it looks really good oh sorry it might be uh falling off the thing it's really not uh, just a really nice shape to wear if i do it up properly i can show you i've just got this hops bag here and then what i have been doing is wearing this quite a lot actually this winter so i've just put it with some heels because i just find that boots just didn't look right with these kind of cropped jeans so they are short petite black skinny high-rise jeans from Lovell and I have a code below I'll put for you if you would like to get some really love them I have them in the blue and I wear the blue all the time totally recommend it but I just wanted to show you this look with the coat so I've got the black jeans on and then I have this blouse on let me show you it in a little bit more detail it's all stuck together there we go right so the blouse has got this beautiful pattern on and then I've got my necklace on there as well I've kind of done my hair in loose curls today because I know it's going to sort of slowly fall out and I'm off to do the school run so I'm going to have to sort of perk it up again before I go out tonight but I think I might just wear this out I think for the school run what I'm going to do is put some black boots on um, I might even just wear this coat it's quite nice and thin it's not too thick and it's quite hot the school run I find it always quite oh, flustery and quite hot so I'm going to go do that, come back, sort out tea, then rush to Harrogate and hope my husband returns at some point to take over. It's always just a mad rush in our house. We're like running here, there and everywhere. Hello, I'm actually early for once. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just curled it again. Don't worry, it will all frizz out, especially because it's raining. What a surprise. I thought the weather was so good this morning and it's actually raining. I think the quality of this video is awful because it says more light required. That is true. More light is required. I am heading, I'm in Harrogate now. I'm actually here early, which is great. And I am going to go down to Zizi's restaurant. I will show you inside what the food's like. I don't really understand whether it's a sit down dinner or whether it's like nibbles. I don't think I read the invite properly, which was silly of me. Anyway, I know quite a few people going, so I'm very excited to see them and catch up with them and hopefully have a good evening. So I will take you with me. If you are near Harrogate at all, you might be interested to see ZZ's or if you have a ZZ's near you, you might be interested to see what the menu is like and what kind of event they put on. This is my bag of rollers. Oh gosh, I've got family texts going on. Busy, busy, busy. Good morning. Well, it's actually technically, what is it? Uh, oh, 120, I think it says on there. So I'm just going to have my first meal of the day. I think this is really random. Raf drew this the day. I was thinking, that looks a bit odd. Not quite sure what it is. Anyway, we, <laughs> I've just been trying to do a bit of tidying up in here. Still looks like a mess though, doesn't it? Oh, don't look. I've had a lazy morning. I did a bar Pilates class. So it's B-A-R-R-E, it's very new to me. I know nothing about it. And I'm just gonna get a spoon while I'm talking to you. It was really good. Like, it was really good for my back, especially in my dodgy back that I've got. But I wondered if any of you know anything about bar Pilates and using weights with them. And can you recommend anyone to follow or any classes to do or anything like that? Please do send me a message on Instagram or write in the comment below because I would love to look into it a bit more because I think it might be really good for me. My back is 
not good at the moment. My posture is really bad. Anyway, this is my breakfast lunch. I'm having a big bowl of porridge with my protein powder in. That's why it's that colour. And then nuts and seeds and berries. And there's a banana in there as well. So I'm really looking forward to this. Obviously, I ate way too much last night. You saw the food. It was really good. But I wasn't expecting all those courses after the lunch I ate as well. So, yeah, it was, it was great, though. Really nice event. So I've just ordered this and it's arrived. I ordered it yesterday, which I just love. I mean, oh. I think delivery services can be just amazing, can't they? So I did pay for postage today, but it wasn't any more than normal. Anyway, I listened to this podcast the other day. I'll put a link to it below. And the founder of this company was on it. And it was really interesting, really interesting to hear her story and all of that. And then I started looking her up and then I followed what she did. And da, da, da. anyway, let me show you what's inside. Oh gosh, I've just opened it up and you're all probably thinking, what has she ordered? So... Oh, it's very beautifully packaged. Very beautifully packaged. Can I do this with one hand? You're going to be like worrying what this is, aren't you? So here are all the kind of hashtags and things if you want to look them up. That's their, them on socials. They are, of course, shapewear. Woohoo! Shapewear, here we go. So this is shapewear. As we all know, I'm a massive fan of all different types of shapewear. I spend a lot of my money on finding the right shapewear. And the way this has been advertised to me is that I will not need to find any more shapewear ever again because of this. Oh, it says that it's got this bit. <laughs> this is a bit weird. How do you get into that? I don't think I could wee through that. I mean, that looks... <laughs> I'm not sure I could read through that. We'll, we'll test it, but I'm not sure about that bit. So it's got this bit, this kind of panel here, and this is their kind of unique kind of selling point, their shape here. The fact that it doesn't roll down um, because it's got this band across. Um, I've got it in a size 10, a little bit ambitious, I know, um, but I want it to be really tight. I have an event this weekend and... I need to be pulled in in every area possible. So I'm going to try these on later and just see what they're like. I'm hoping they fit me. They're quite structured. Oh, look, they're boned here. Oh, I love a bit of corsetry boning. This is going to be very interesting. And then they go down here like so. I mean, really, so far, I'm impressed. Let me get them on, though. And then I will comment and let you know exactly what I think. Well, that goes over the course of the thing. I thought the stitching had gone, but no, they're made very well, very thick. I think a lot of work when you listen to the podcast has gone into this brand and this shapewear. I think if you bought two things, it would probably work out to be cheaper. I think they gave you some money off, but I was a bit too scared to do that. So I've just bought one shorts. They do have skirts though, which I thought was quite interesting because then obviously you can wear your own pants underneath. I like the fact at the bottom here, there's no kind of seam. So hopefully if you wore them under like trousers, because I have a problem area of here where it kind of goes out. So I like wearing these kind of short things. Then it won't be seen further down because of this lovely bit on the edge there. Anyway, I will get them on and show you, but I'm very impressed with the quality and the packaging. Do check out the podcast that I will put a link to below. So I've just been sent this dress. Can you see the print there? It's actually really nice. It's kind of got a kind of Hobbsy feel to it, which, as you know, I love. So it's got down these kind of drop sleeves here, which go all the way down and they've got the elastic underneath. And then the bit I love most is it cuts just here, right under the bust. And then it has a beautiful flowing skirt. It's kind of cut on the bias. So it's really pretty, isn't it? I think this would be good for like winter boots, but also I think it'd be really good with like espadrilles in the summer or sandals or something like that. It's just a really versatile dress. So it's from this company called Needs No Label. And I haven't actually, just let me just try and get them in focus for you. I haven't actually worked with them before, but they messaged me and asked me if I would like to work with them. And I just thought, do you know what? Yes, because I do really like the products that you've got on there. Um, so I'm going to try it on and show you. I have got on the new pants. Um, so I can't wait to show you those and see what you think. Well, I'm not actually going to show you on here because you might 
I don't think that's appropriate for this, but I'll show them on with this dress. So I've got it on and I'm going to team it with these. These are Mary Janes. They are from Hobbs. They're brand new in now. They're on the website. The thing I like about them is, look, they've got a nice heel, not too high, not too low, but it's nice and chunky. I'm fed up of ruining my heels. I think I walk too much on like cobbles and really bad pavements and they just get trashed. So I'm hoping that these might last a little bit longer. They're perfect for spring. They've got this nice band going across the front. So let me put them on. So if I stand back here, you can see the dress hopefully in full and me just about the top. I've got the shoes on and then I've got these pull-in pants that I was just showing you on as well. So they actually go to about here. I think that they're, I mean, obviously I wouldn't wear them on a lovely night out. Well, I would wear them on a lovely night out, but I'd take them off before I got home, is what I mean. But I'm hoping you can't really see them underneath. And I think they pull in quite nicely. I probably could have gone with going a size down just to really pull in because I feel like I can still see bumps especially like here I can definitely see bumps but they are really good definitely not going to roll down you know when you get that sort of halfway through the day you get this roll of fabric from up here that's fallen down I think they're really good so if you're looking for nice shapewear do check out their website I wish I'd got one of the skirts now because actually that might be quite nice under here anyway I, um, yeah, love to know what you think. What do you think of the dress? I think it's really pretty. I actually love the print. Really pretty, beautiful dress. I kind of want to wear it tomorrow because I feel like it's a bit spring. Although it's like pouring with rain, I'd look like a right idiot, wouldn't I? I'd have to wear tights, I think. I might just wear this tomorrow. It's so nice. Very spring-like. I've just got on my favourite dress. So this is a Hobbs dress. Isn't the print just stunning? It is beautiful, perfect wedding guest dress. So it is, or christening or anything smart like that. In fact, a party, summer party. I love the lines, the way it's cut. And this is the thing I love about Hobbs is they really think about how things fit people. So under the bust, we've got this kind of line going on here. We've got the line going down here and then we have the beautiful pattern of the dress making you all look a bit slimmer. It's got these lovely sheer sleeves so it covers your arms, but you know, it's nice and loose and floaty. I've got these shoes that I'm gonna put on with it. These are Hobbs as well. They're new in, and this is the Hobbs bag, which I absolutely love. Really lovely cream colors. I'm just gonna put them on now. I can't do up the back of the dress because I'm on my own and I normally get my daughter to help me. Anyway, you can kind of see, I've got the underwear on as well underneath. Right, there we go. What does it look like? Can you see? Let me go further back. So we've got the bag, we've got the shoes. It's beautiful, I absolutely love it. This is what I wore to the Hobbs event and I had so many compliments from loads of people and loads of messages actually, really lovely messages on my Instagram just saying, I really love the dress, it looks perfect, perfect for you. Oh, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna quickly film some content for it actually going to team it with this pink trench this is Hobbs this is limited collection from last season and I love this coat it's like a, a raspberry colour and I always get so many compliments it's so beautiful this is one of my lovely Hobbs bags too uh, I love the shape of it you might be able to find it in sale I'm not sure but Hobbs make such good bags really lovely quality they last and last and last just really nice love that i think i need to tuck it in imagine it tucks in it's a bit tighter up the top here really beautiful i've got a meeting tomorrow maybe i'll wear this yeah or do you think it's too summery not sure anyway i'm gonna do some videos now <laughs> 